Welcome everyone to Straight from the Paws. Today, I bet you can't guess who I have with me. I have my co-host, Beverly Andrade. Hey, hi everybody. <laughs> it's uh, just the two of us today. Just the two of us today. It's going to be, we hope we're going to make it very interesting and not very, you know, a little bit boring, but no, we will make it interesting, I promise. So today, we're going to discuss an event that we actually created for Forever Paws, and it's called the Spring Fling and Wellness Fair. Fair. Okay, we changed the name a little bit, but that's basically what it is. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Spring Fling, but I'm going to let Bev give you the who, what, and where to start off with so you remember what's going to be happening soon. So she's hoping that I remember it. <laughs> so the who, of course, is Forever Paws Animal Shelter. Um, the what is the Spring Fling. The where is Rachel's Lake Cider in Dartmouth on State Road. And the when is going to be April 7th, 2019. And the time? The time, I believe doors will open at 11.30 a.m. And the event will start at 12. The reason we open the doors at 11.30 a.m. is so that people can arrive and walk around, peruse the place. And we do everything by appointments. So they would have to stop booking their appointments. And then the first appointment will be at 12 o'clock, noontime. Right, and it ends at? Five. Five o'clock. This is an event that is totally volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers that come in and they do all kinds, we call them service providers. And then we also have, we'll get through this part for us, we also have our annual bake sale, which we have a little uh, famous um, cook, chef, I should say, well, no, I guess baker. Baker, be a better yeah. word. Baker, Dennis, who volunteers at the shelter, he actually um, went to school with Emeril Lagasse, and I like to put that out because he, he always reminds me about that, and he's, he's a really great guy, and he does a lot of baking for us, and people wait to see his carrot cakes and his lemon squares. And, and his cheesecakes. And his cheesecakes. They're just, they're fabulous. So that will, we will be having that also at the, sh at the event, and we're also going to have some vendors. You want to talk a little bit about that, Beth? So in the past, I can talk about the past because uh, as of this airing, we haven't had everything confirmed yet. That's correct. So as of this, um, as of last year, some of the vendors that we had, one was called Charlie's Bows, which is uh, for children, little girls especially. Um, the young lady uh, has these special bows that little kids wear. They look like headbands. And we have something called... Um, the chakra readings, and I believe that is done with a, a video camera. They take a picture of you and you have an aura. Right. It's aura photography, so around your head is a rainbow of colors, and those colors are read by the people who, who do that event. So we call that a chakra reading or aura photography. Um, we'll have somebody with jewelry. A yeah. uh, long standby, Georges Jewelry, um, is unable to come anymore due to a back injury, so we won't see George anymore, and people always look forward to seeing him. So this year, uh, he won't be there, sad to say. Um, and let's see, what else did we have last year? We had uh, oils, I believe. Yeah, Sisters of Solace the, has their Sisters of Solace in, yeah. uh, comes in, and they have oils and lotions. And then um, Mello, Suki Mello has. Yeah, her husband does uh, from their store in Diff Tiverton. They're going to they're going to be there this year as well. So mostly everything is going to be uh, related to wellness. And the holistic uh, ca uh, Christina White, Christine White. Oh, she's going to be new this year, come right? This year. So she's holistic and she brings um, things that you would definitely find at a holistic type store. So they everything sell, is geared around teas. toward this. Right, they sell teas also. We bought wellness, for yeah, so that's why we added yeah. the word wellness to our event. So we would have, um, you know, different things in the vendor. Right. So as opposed to just having pocketbooks and scarves and jewelry and things of that nature, what we end up doing is making it more in the wellness field. So right. our, all our vendors are going to be geared toward the wellness. And I want to explain to our audience that it's not, um, it's not just for women. In the past, people have said, oh, because we used to call it the Lady Spring Fling, and then we started getting some men that wanted to join us, and they were like, well, can I come? And I said, of course you can come. Anyone that wants to come is more than welcome to come. I wouldn't say that children probably, uh, maybe from teen years up, would enjoy it, but I don't know if children younger would enjoy it. It's a limited amount of time because each reading, and we'll explain about those in a few minutes, um, they all have a certain amount of time that they can work with 
with the person that comes in. It's two dollars admission to come in and from there you can just walk around. This year we're hoping to have a drum, an African drum player? No, it's no, not African. It's not African? Okay. Got the wrong it? nation there. All right, what is it? It's Indian drums. That's right, it's an Indian drummer. It's okay. an Indian drummer and a flute player. Okay. So that'll give some ambiance. Ambiance, okay. To the event. I believe he's going to be, originally we planned him in the foyer mm -hmm. of Rachel's, but if there's another event in one of their other rooms, then we'd have to put him into the room where the bake sale is. Right. We're not and quite sure yet, because right. the event hasn't happened. And we're not sure about the if the weather is good. Um, he Sherry can be on the porch. From Rachel's had said they could go out onto the deck. Yes. And people could, you know, if people wanted to dance. I was joking with Indian one of our, dancing. Right. Yeah, I was joking with one of our board members, and I said, Cheryl, you could go out and show people how to do the dances. And she said, Sure, I'll try it. And I'm like, right. Okay. It should be fun. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a first time to have the Indian drummers and the flute players, um, not food players, flute, yes. flute. Get I know I correct. didn't sound that too right. So um, that's going to be a different event for us. And his wife is one of the readers. Right, that's how we got involved. He was there with his wife last year, and he offered to help us out. And so far as I, as far as I know, he is coming this year to do it. And so we're really excited about that as well. So we're going to talk a little bit about what exactly is a spring fling and wellness fair. What we have is we have people that volunteer their time for the shelter, and they come in and they set up and they we have reiki we have bev is going to help me we have oh, reiki we have chair massage all. we have table massage yeah reflexology we have a, a angel card readers tarot card readers we have a flame reader we have stone uh, i guess it's earth called stone, stone earth stones. stone readings we have had astrology in the past we have rune which is also done with stones we have iet which integrated is, energy therapy right you lay on a table and she does some things on the mat and so on very relaxing we've had polarity we've had uh, therapeutic cupping, cupping. therapeutic cupping we that's had, that thing that michael phelps did before one of the olympics right where you see all the like little cup marks yeah, on little the cup body marks. and then we've also had the lady last year that did the screen, uh, skin rejuvenation haven't been able to get in touch with her this year so I don't know but it's a lot of different people that offer their services to help forever pause and we greatly appreciate them and we give a shout out to them we ask people to bring their cards and their information or oh, what about the one that does the wiggle dancing Traga Traga that's, that's called Traga Karen does that um, it's not really wiggle dancing well that's what she calls it I don't <coughs> it's know. um She'll take a portion of your body, like your arm, and she shakes it. It's weird. It's kind of weird, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not. She gives you a whole pamphlet on it and yes. a brochure to read all about Traga, what it actually is. Um, there's all kinds of crazy things. There are. And, and it makes it mm, interesting. It does. And people say, well, you know, when I get there, the times are already taken. That's why we decided 1130 will open the doors for everybody to come in, take a look around. We give you a little uh, program booklet to show you what's available. And sometimes, unfortunately, someone doesn't show up. So that does you know, happen. People get angry and they send all the upset people to me and I try to uh, reassure them, you know, sometimes things happen. One year we had a very bad storm and some people couldn't make it in and people were upset. And I'm like, you know, p someone's basement was flooded a couple of years yes. ago when we were at the fall of a country club. So, you know, you, you do the best you can, prepare with the best you can. It doesn't always happen, you know, the way you want it to. I know last year I think there was one no show. Was it just one? There was one empty booth. Yes, there right. Was. So there was only one last right. year, and there's always a reason why someone doesn't make it. You know, they got up sick. They didn't know, obviously, that they were going to be sick. They got car trouble. Uh, I know one woman had a, her daughter had a baby. Um, so these things happen. It's called life. And this year you know? we have two people that are not able to come because they're expecting grandchildren. So you know that happens. Life gets in the way. And it does. One of them that, we, that I didn't mention and I really need to mention is Karen Daly. She's an animal communicator. Yes. And I'm going to let Bev explain a little bit about what that is. So Karen Daly is um, an intuitive reader. Um, she picks up on vibes, I guess, and she calls them her, her guides. Her guides. She calls them her guides. Um, she becomes very, very popular at our Spring Fling Wellness Fair. Everybody wants to go to her because we're all about animals anyway. So people that come to us have animals, love animals, and want to hear about animals. So she can reach, like, let's say, a psychic reader can reach the spirits right. in the other world. She can reach animals, 
in the other world. And in this world. And in this world, right, because we did that a couple of times with yes. her. So what she ends up doing is she asks you who you're interested in hearing from, and you may have a problem dog, and you say, well, my dog is lethargic, I don't know what's going on with my dog, and she says, well, you know, I will speak to him or her, and, and I'll get a reading, I'll talk to my spirit guides, and that's what she does. And sometimes it's a dog that's passed, because I know once I went to her and my right. dog had passed, mm -hmm. and she nailed it. She told me all about that dog, and I was like, how could you know this? So those are the questions we can't answer. Nobody answers, how can she do this? She says she just does it, you know, that's, it's a gift, I guess. Uh, we know because we have um, a member of our board who's a psychic reader, right. and he, he's explained it to us. He said it's just a gift. It just, it's, to him, it's just a normal thing. It's something he knows, he feels. And that's what she said happened to her. She just had the gift, and she's able to um, you know, experience that. So people flock to her immediately, and they fill up her card, her appointment time. They fill it up rapidly. So from 12 to 5, she's busy constantly so if you ever wanted to hear about her and you can't get in she has her business cards and she has her brochures she has flyers um, you can always contact her by phone she does a lot of readings over the phone we just recently talked to Karen about a foster dog that I have and she gave us some insight into the foster dog that we're currently working with so um, she's very interesting whether you believe or not, that's up to you, but it's always interesting to listen. That's what I say. I, might, I remember the first time I went to one of these readers and I said, I don't believe in this stuff right. at all. I don't believe in any of it. And then you sit there and listen and you say, I'm not telling them anything about me. I'm going to be totally stone silent. And then they start rattling off all the stuff about you and it's like, oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I will say initially when we started this, um, I wasn't a really true believer. And when Bev mentioned one of our board members, who you all know probably is Matt Frazier, and Matt does not work on our event because he's always working on Sundays at other events. So um, that, you know, but I've learned to believe in this um, through Matt and also through another His person, mother, one, too. His mother does it as well. And it was, it's been very interesting. Uh, um, you just, you never know. So if you're a non-believer and you want an opportunity to try to learn something about this, there's opportunities for you. If you're not, and you just got some aches and pains, like um, our producer here, Michelle, was telling us about her back is bothering us from this weekend. She should well, come to the she, spring fling. You know, she's going to wait a little while, but she <laughs> could go to the spring fling or get to someone that's working massage therapy. And well, that's those really are the other things that right, we, have. we have. We have besides the readers. We also have all these hands-on people. Right. So we'll talk a little bit about, um, we, have a, we have two people, oh, actually several people that come from Sisters of Solace in Westport, uh, Kristen and, Christine and Dara. Uh, one of them, and I'll never get it correct, one of them does ear candling, which we'll describe in a minute, and the other one does a reflexology. <clears throat> now, um, ear candling is when they take some wax and a flame of some sort and lay on a table and she lets the earwax, kind of the wax from the candle go in and then they take all this guck out of your ear. And people are like, oh, that's disgusting. But there are people that come every year and say, you know, are they here this year? I want that done. Yeah, they come right to her. <clears throat> and, and because we only do uh, $10 per service, if you want both ears done, that would be $20. Right. You know, exactly. you'd have to book two uh, appointments. Right in a row. So each appointment is $15. No, 15, 15 minutes. minutes, and it costs $10 for 15 minutes. So if you wanted uh, 30 minutes, then you'd have to pay twice. So it'd be $20. That's how we operate. So all of these services last 15 minutes long. Let's talk a little bit about the services. People come in, they pay $2 just to come to the event. Right, because that way, if they don't want to have any services, uh, they can pay to come in and walk around they and observe. They just want to enjoy the bake sale and have uh, a cup right. of coffee. They can, they can observe, can so we do have it. a door fee for right. that. And then let's talk about the, the coins and how that works. Well, we don't have the service people uh, have any money in their hands. They, we don't have uh, them handle the money at all because it would be too complicated to have 20 some odd people all uh, handling the money. And they might not have change and then that would take time away from that 15 minute slot. So when you come into the event, you buy from one of the cashiers a bag of make-believe children's coins, right. right? That's what they are, and they're all in a little bag and they're tied with a ribbon, and there's 10 coins in a bag, so each coin is a dollar. 
You can't open the bag though. The bag is, right. is sealed. And you can't use them to purchase at the bake sale either. Correct. So it's just ten dollars and you get this little item of coins in a bag. And with that little item of coins in a bag, you walk around to the service provider that you're interested in. So let's say you want to try the jiggly thing called Traeger, and you want to have a back massage, and you want to have a tarot card reading. So if you wanted to sign up for those three events, then you would come back after you sign up. We always tell people sign up first. Then you'd come back to the cashiers, and you'd say, I've got three events. So I'd say that's $30, and I give you three bags. So the bags become your money to the service provider. You pay us, and the service provider sees the little bag of coins, and they know that you've paid for the event. So that's what we do to make it uh, simple for the service providers. Uh, all the money is out in the foyer. Nobody um, has money except the cashiers. Usually I'm one of the cashiers, because being the treasurer, I just yep. try to keep track of the money. Um, so that's what we end up doing. And we do accept credit cards. We do. And cash, and we do accept checks for the event. You can make out the check to Gail for time. No, 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 you don't do that. Forever pause. <laughs> yeah, I try to get a few bucks here and there, you know, but never works. All checks would be I made pay. out to Forever Pause yeah. Animal Shelter. Yeah. And I pay more money out when I go to these events. We pay as well. And right, we do. To realize that any volunteer that you see there, myself included, we all pay for the event as well. You right. know, just for people to understand that. Well, that's what fundraising services. is all about. Right. When we do all of our multiple fundraisers throughout the year, all of our volunteers and board members pay for tickets too, just so everybody knows that. Yeah. Um, because <clears throat> that's how we raise money. That, that's what it's all about, is raising money for the animals. Um, we have to pay for staffing. We have to pay for electric. Just so in case you haven't seen any of our other shows, <laughs> um, 2018, we actually had over 1,200 animals come into the shelter that we took care of. So that's why if you support our events, it's very important. Fundraising is a very important part of our, as Bev, our treasurer will tell you, part of the pie that tells us how much money we're earning and where we're coming from with the money. So it's very important to have all the fundraisers. I know. We've heard some people say, my God, you're always in the paper. You've got a fundraiser every month. And it is true. We have a very wonderful fundraising committee. Everybody on that committee works above and beyond. Uh, we have an old saying on the committee, once you do it, you own it. Oh, yes. So for instance, our board member Diane buys butter for clam boils and she yeah. buys it every year. That's what she does because she did it once and you own it. Um, George buys ice. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You do it so once, you own it. That's the way it goes. So I was telling you a little bit about uh, Sisters of Solace. And, you know, we have the two sisters that own the place. And then they have Jesse and Keith that work there. And, and Karen. And Karen is the Traeger lady. And we've got um, uh, Jesse is very popular with tarot card reading. And I'm not going to explain about that because most people know a little bit about that. And then Rune. Um, Keith does that also. I think that's with, with it's also with stones. It's a, a stone thing. But it's a reading. You will it's pick a out reading the stones, stones and all that. Yeah. Very interesting if you've never been. So they do that. And then we have Laurie Ann Nunes who does our angel card readings and helps us get a lot of, in, as well as Sisters of Solace, get people that help us come into the building. Because, you know, once you're in that kind of, um, I guess, lifestyle, I guess the best a way field. to explain it, field. People, you know, kind of gravitate and know each other. Laurie has been very helpful with us in getting us those people, and she does the angel card reading. Um, she's also written a book, and so she has her book with her, and she has her card. She has a little office in Westport so that she also can provide if you want to go see her privately. Privately, her private correct. List, you know, That's why we tell that. them all to bring their cards and Absolutely. brochures. So you can go meet them on their, if you want the hour-long readings. Right. You can go to those businesses and get your hour long reading. To quote Bev, and I will Me. quote Bev, yes, it's a tease the 15 minutes. That's what it is. You get a tease is. of what's going on. And I can tell you, having my own family members that are sort of non-believers in this type of stuff, you know, they came just to support Forever Pause. And, you know, they come back and they say to me, I can't believe that. I don't know how they knew that. And one or two of them, I've, especially my cousin uh, Lisa, I've taken her to uh, a couple of shows with Matt, and she's like blown away by what they know. So the non-believer now comes to the believer side because it, it's very, um, I don't know what the word is. It's, it's astonishing. It really kind of blows your socks off, so to speak. So I think that's important for people to understand. Um, you learn a lot about your past. You learn a lot about the future. You learn a lot about what's happening to well, people in Well, for instance, your life. like you learned 
one of them didn't know you, right? And didn't know you right. didn't know you were even on the board. No. And the first thing she said to you was, You're under a lot of stress. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. oh my God, yes. No. Yeah, I've had that happen to me a few times. If you've ever had Reiki done to you with this like, you know, the feeling of the hands and all that and all that. I actually had uh, two of the girls that the ladies that were there, they were like they and they knew me. They said, you know, Gail, can you, you want to come? And I said, no. And I said, I got one bag, so we'll give you two for the price of one. And I'm like, really? And they, they were down on people at the moment. And I said, oh, okay, sure. And, you know, they're like, Gail, can you, like, is there something you can let go of your, you know, because you've got so much going on. And I'm like, yeah, I know. So, you know, do I believe in it? I do now. Do I believe that the massage therapy and all that helps? It does. Reflexology, which we mentioned before, is, um, very interesting. It's on your feet. Dora, she does it on your feet, and um, so make sure you you know wear clean socks and stuff when you come, you know, <laughs> just in case. But it's really amazing what she does and, and how she just manipulates you know your feet and your toes and stuff, and it really feels good. And in between that, there's astrology if yep. she makes it. Yep. There's numerology if she makes it. Um, what other weird things do we have? Well, the flame reader. She, the flame she's reader. Not if sure she yet makes she's it, coming. yep. That's, a, this, that's a really this show, bizarre one. Uh, we're airing the show way before the event. Well, in March. In, in March. We're going to show in March, and the event's in April 7th. 7th. So we're still getting calls right. back from uh, the readers. So the flame reader, uh, people are blown away by that, too. She actually has a candle with a flame on it and has a card going over the flames. And like the card readers, she reads the, the, the design on well, the card. She does. Yeah. It's quite interesting, all of this stuff. I, I really am impressed by it. It is. It's, 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 a, it's a very good time, time to go out. And if, whether it's April showers or it's a nice sunny day, uh, people come and go. And, they, and some people just kind of sit. We actually use two rooms at Rachel's. We have the main room. And then we have the side room where we have the, um, the vendors as well as the bake sale. And there are some tables that they put out. White's uh, hospitality, especially Rachel's. Um, Sherry has become, you know, sort of like a friend to us. She's really supportive and she helps us out a lot. And she gets us the room and set it up, the room dividers. Um, it's, it's really an exciting event. And people that, like I said, if you've never experienced it and you've always thought about, gee, I'd like to go to a, we actually go to a reader or something. I was just thinking we actually, two years ago, had a palm reader, but she's pregnant this year, so she's not going to be able to come. Oh, yeah, but she was popular. She was popular. And so people yeah. say, well, you know, I don't believe that stuff, but for $10, for 15 minutes, you can find out whether you become a believer or you say, this is, you know, I don't believe in this stuff. But I've never seen anyone come back to me and say, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing this. We have people that come and say to us, when is it happening? Right. Oh, it. they want Jesse. I come to Jesse right. every year. Certain people Or I come to Karen right. every year. Right. Because they have their favorites now. Now they have their favorites. Yes. We actually have, um, is he a tarot, the um, gray wolf? Gray Island. Wolf is what they call an intuitive reader. Intuitive and reader. I haven't got a clue what that means. Yeah, me I just either. use the word psychic because yep. I don't know what intuitive reader means. But he's got his own little business in uh, Rhode, Rhode Island, Island somewhere. Yep. And he was very excited to come back this year. He was. It was and his first time last year. People that went to him, they didn't know, and they were like, so we decided, say to our volunteers, can you try to go because that person's not busy yet? And they go, yeah, okay. And so they go and they say, wow, that was amazing. He, you know, he, again, blew my socks off. I'm kind of like surprised. And I'm like, really? So I, I think that y if you come to the event, you're going to find out that it might be something that you're really are interested in. And if you've already had t your cards read, like tarot cards, go to Karen and the other readers for the, you know, for the angel cards. That's very interesting. Just a quick synopsis. They have a deck of cards, and they tell you to pick the deck. There's different decks on the angel right. cards. Right. She has like four decks. Cards. You know, they tell you to pick whichever card yep. deck you want. Then she takes that deck, and she sprawls it out, and she tells you to select so many cards. And then she puts the deck away, and then she takes, brings out the cards, and she starts talking about what they represent and the symbolism behind them. Um, again, I got to tell you that that has been very enlightening. Um, you know, and then again, people say, "I'm afraid to do that." I, you know, I don't want to know what's going to happen. They don't, you know, they don't really go into that. Well, they don't really predict the future. No, they don't. They kind of pick apart your personality, and. Um, more along those lines. And they tell you things 
of like your loved ones that have passed and what's going on and they know a little bit about what's happening in your life and they get it kind of sort of give you some guidance I think is a good way of putting it yeah like they guidance. keep telling you to right. relieve your stress yeah <laughs> mine is relieve stress um, not happening just want you to know yeah. that's not happening it's a little bit difficult to do that um, I am obviously a very passionate about what I do for forever pause if you would have told me we were just talking with Keith here in, in charge of this media support the media center and I'm like how many years have I done this I said I was only going to do it for one year and and now it's like second hand you know yeah we come we do the show and we do enjoy it you know it's just a matter of trying to get some guests on some time to talk with us but again today we're passionate about this particular show so because we want our viewers to come and see it we want to have, see some new faces there and say gee I've never done this before and give you the exposure for that because I've said this in the past you know forever pause is about paying it forward in our community and we want our viewers to know that there are other things out there that can be done and then again at the same time helping the animals we really appreciate the vendors that donate their you know the excuse me the service providers that donate their time the vendors that spend their day there you know they do pay a certain amount of money for, for a, a vendor table, table but it's minuscule. it's minuscule we don't charge like big other events that charge we we ask them to bring you know they come in and they do it and they and they love it and they you know they get customers you know well the vendors the purpose for the vendors is you have an appointment let's say at 12 and then another appointment at 215 so what are you going to do with all that time so you go into the bake sale you have a cup of coffee right. you sit down you browse the the vendors do a little shopping with the tables that are set there for the coffee and the pastry you sit down and relax you talk to friends and you say oh my god you came here too you know and, and it's just a social event it's a nice afternoon it really it is. is it's a it's a fun afternoon so just to to make sure we get all the information, it's the Spring Fling and Wellness Fair, and it's on April 7th. It's a Sunday at Rachel's. At Rachel's Lake Cider in Dartmouth. It's Dartmouth, correct? Mm -hmm. Dartmouth. And you can come in at 11:30, and services start at 12 o'clock. The admission fee is only two dollars. The service fee for each service that you go to is ten dollars. You get a little bag of coins, they're Mardi Gras coins, and you go, you know, to the different vendors so you can find out what you're doing. And then in between your time that you set up for it, like Bev just mentioned, you can also go and purchase something at our great bake sale, have a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, and then move on and go back to you whatever vendor you're And you can to. also be entertained by the We're Indian drummers. That, right, the Indian drummer the will be there and they'll entertain you. So I think, again, it's an event that it's worthwhile taking a, you know, some time, go out and do something different if you've never done that before, if you've never had your cards read, or if you've never had a massage or reflexology, ear candling, it's an experience. It gives you exposure to it. Um, and again, a lot of people walk away and say, I've learned a lot today. I was really excited about it. Thank you for doing this. And then we say thank you for coming and thank you for supporting Forever Paws Animal Shelter. So, and if you have any questions about the event, feel free to call and someone will answer and give you any answers that we can about the event. Thank you again, Bev, for coming yeah, to say thanks today. Thanks for having me again. You know, it's always a lot of fun. You have a great day.